All right, what's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here, founder and CEO of Executive Stride. In today's video, we're going to be going over some GHL, go high level workflow, some crucial ones that you need to have in your business for email nurturing, text nurturing, nurturing your leads, nurturing your prospects on a consistent basis so you don't have to do more manual work. You can do less and make more. All right, so let's show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's dive right into it. All right, so I'm gonna make this video real, real quick and I'm just gonna hop right in. I don't wanna waste anyone's time here. We're gonna get straight into the sauce and you know, showing you and giving you some tips on how to set this up, why you need it, why it's crucial. And I'm gonna give you two examples just to, now when I show you these examples, guys, I, me personally, I mean, you can do what you want with this information. What I would suggest is take the ideas, take the concept and innovate, do your own thing, customize it, make it your own, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, these are two examples in different situations, different use cases. There's different contexts around them, but, uh, I'm just going to show you the specifics here. So this is a 52 week lead nurturing sequence. Now you can get even more advanced with stuff like this. Um, you can add text in here as well. Right now, this is just email, right? So it's really basic. It's literally just. Now, typically, just to let you guys know, typically I would um, have a bit more with it. Like I would have um, contingency, like I would have uh, more, it, yeah, um, what's the word? If slash or, I think it's if, what is it? If, uh, if else state, like uh, contingencies, uh, conditions, right? Now, if you don't know what that is, I'll show you in a second because a lead, now, the one thing I will say though is this actually, actually you don't even need that. You don't even need that. And I'll tell you why, because if you're just reliant on building this one thing and you're using, um, maybe some other tools, it may be more important for this in go high level. You actually don't really even need to worry about that specifically. And I'll show you why in just a second, but basically if you're leveraging other auto like workflow automations, once they opt into certain flows, meaning they took certain action, you can literally just do, um, add a action of remove. Where is it? Remove from workflows. So you can, no, I wouldn't do remove from all workflows. I would do remove from workflows and then you would select another workflow and then you would select that workflow, right? So you actually before, and sometimes, you know, you may want to use this regardless. You, you would do like an if else, and then you would do, um, you would, you could actually put like contact details and then you could put a tag. Yeah. Tags. And then you would select, uh, includes, and then you would select a tag. I'm not going to do that right now, but, and then when someone opts in, say like books a call, they have a tag of demo booked. And so if they have that tag, continue sending them the email lead nurture sequence. If not, then you may want to remove them. Um, no, sorry. If they have that tag, remove them out of the sequence. If they don't, that means they didn't book a call yet. So keep sending them emails, right? So, you know, you know, the, the whole, um, you know, the saying, if you're a Wolf of Wall Street fan or whatever, they're they either buy or die, right? So obviously don't take that literally, but it's kind of like, you know, this is the type of stuff like marketing systems that automate this process. So you don't have to be like, you know, it's, it's to stay top of mind. You want to stay top of mind in a prospect's mind. There's so many different things out there getting attention, this and that, you know, the, you're really fighting for a prospect's attention and attention is, you know, the commodity. If, if they'll be like so dead set and like, you know, really into your stuff one day, but then like they have ADHD or whatever, or 88, uh, ADD, whatever they're, they see something else and then they're, you know, or they just forget, you know, it is what it is. But so these are the type of things you need to be doing to stay top of mind, making sure that you're, um, you know, reminding the prospect, Hey, here's some value buy or book, take this action, watch this training, whatever the case may be. That's what the purpose of a nurturing sequence, right? So here is an example. Like I said, this one is they get basically like an email every week, uh, every week for 52 weeks. 
And you may be wondering, okay, so that's a year. What happens after that? Well, after that, there's a go-to step and it just goes all the way to the top, all right? Over the 52 weeks, just so you guys understand, they're not gonna be opening every single email. Most likely they may, and even if they do, by the next year, they're not gonna remember what this first email is, right? So you can literally just loop this. It's an endless loop. Obviously you can change some, whatever, if you want, update it, but um, yeah, it's it's pretty, pretty awesome. Just have this, this is like an overarching company workflow nurturing sequence. So all those, like if you just have a CRM and you have prospects just sitting in there and they're not getting like, you know, emails or texts or this or that, you're literally sitting on hundred, like thousands, hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, even maybe millions. If you're, uh, if, depending on how much data it is, how much, uh, what's the ticket size of your company, uh, product and offer, you're potentially sitting on hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars right there. So this literally, depending on like, we've helped clients just implementing stuff like this, these auto certain automations, like instantly makes a bunch of money just with their current data already because they're not leveraging it right so yeah you should definitely get set started on setting something like this up it could maybe take you a bit of time to be honest just because i mean you may be like kind of feeling overwhelmed how am i going to create a bunch of emails or a bunch of stuff all up front first off when i when we were really doing this like we've been doing this for um you know like three, four years really building systems, like really advanced systems. And um, like we've been doing it even before then, but like specifically, like that's when we really put a real big focus on it um, and really systemizing sales processes and, and operations and such. But um, especially with AI now, like it's, there's really no excuse. You have, you can literally make, uh, you know, content very, very quickly. You just obviously need to, uh, obviously make sure it's quality content, you know, you need to go over it, etc. but leverage the tools at your disposal. Okay. I do have a lot of videos on different AI tools, different, this, different, that on this channel. So start going through some of them. All right. We have a lot of videos on this channel. Also go through some of the other go high level videos, right now I will show you. And like I said, there's no con like conditions here just because all the other workflows structured in this snapshot once they opt in like say the demo booking um uh workflow or the um you know all these different workflows demo booking auto booking um all the other workflows pretty much all of them if they take a desired action where i no longer want them to receive this overarching nurturing email then i remove them within that workflow that's why this is literally just a straight line now also too keep in mind every single one of those workflows almost once the lead becomes like unresponsive or just isn't really you know going to the next action or they go through the whole workflow and they don't take my desired action okay cool i'm not just gonna like kill that lead usually it's it's like okay they're automatically going to be added into the 52 week or the overarching company uh workflow right so then i would do an ad i would go add to workflow and then you would select this workflow, right? So that's the concept there. Here's another example. Now, like I said, this is this does have those conditions there. This was built in a different uh, Go High Level um, account, same account, but like different location. And uh, so this, this does have like these um, conditions here. Now these are not actually 100% necessary um, to be to be honest because um yeah like i like i showed you already but basically it's same sort of thing this is like wait one day uh contact has booked demo tag if not then continue sending right see that there it's literally just that if they booked a demo continue if they didn't book a demo continue sending all these emails if they did book a demo just remove them and then once they book a demo, there's a automatic, um, there's a demo booking sequence, right? Which is going to go take them through that, move them on to other sequences, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So this one, I believe is like 34 or five steps. Um, and then it just loops back up. So you need looping sequences, nurturing loops. These are what I'm talking about here. Super, super crucial for your business. Um, here's just a couple examples. We have like 
probably uh, built out like 10 different ones. We help our clients build these out as well. And this is just like a small, little, little, little bit of, you know, small drip in the pond of like what we do, what we help our clients do. This is just one little thing, but all these little tweaks, I'm telling you guys, like you're wasting. The thing is you're, you're sitting on typically the typical person is sitting on and wasting so much money on the table. That's the thing. That's why it's like lots of the times it's just like having the systems in place. Um, you know, someone typically like, you know, once you actually start making sales, you're, you know, doing this, if you're just starting out, a lot of the time, even if you have a bunch of sales, you're doing really well. Someone that's doing well, it's a lot of times it's just having the right systems and you can inst you're because you're just already sitting on so much money on the table that you don't even see just leaving it right there. So this is just one little thing, one little tweak that if you add this in, you could easily, you know, convert a bunch of those, those leads you're just sitting on that you don't even no, and depending on your ticket size that like i said that could be hundreds of or tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands or even maybe millions if you know if you're a very, very large company we work with large companies you have a large ticket size then that is something right there but other than that guys like i said i don't want to make this video too too long i want to ramble i'm gonna make more videos on different workflows etc so make sure to smash that subscribe button smash that like button if you guys want something like this one yeah you can work with us we do uh consulting and uh, and um we have a full six step program um which is like a hybrid program of done for you built systems with masterminds mentorships etc book a call if you're interested in that i don't want to talk too much about that or you know try to sell you guys on that if you're interested book a call you can speak to the team and see if it's right for you but um if you want that something like this you want some bit of free sauce or whatever for free then uh, i'm gonna leave a go high level link down below so if you're not on go high level you can join it's an affiliate link if you join through my affiliate link i get a little kickback but it's the same price for you regardless so it doesn't affect you but i'll give you like a little bit of free sauce if you join through my link or if you're already on go hollow and you upgrade to one of the plans i'll leave links below for that too and then if you do so let me know in the comments also if you if forever at whatever reason if you ever can't reach me or if I ever, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on right now with our company as well as some other uh, businesses I'm involved in. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. So if you ever can't reach me, message me on Facebook, message me on Instagram, email me, whatever the case is. If it's like very urgent, if it's like, you know, if you're waiting on something for me, clients, I'm always, that's my priority. Clients and team, no problem with that. But if you're someone like, you know, interested in something or if you signed up as an affiliate for something and you needed to get you know whatever then message me on one of those and uh i'll get back to you okay guys but other than that um if you haven't already make sure to join the stride community no brainer it's literally free so join the stride community stay up to date oh this is another good way to contact me so stride community boom.com link will be in the description and then also too, guys, if you like some free sauce, if you like all this stuff, join the six days challenge. All right. Like I said, I don't want this YouTube channel. I'm, I'm going to really start trying to put, not meant like not try to sell you guys stuff, whatever, like as much as possible. Um, if you do want to like, you know, work with us, whatever, that's cool. But I want to start making a lot of free stuff, really valuable stuff. So this is one of those things, a six day challenge, show you guys how to add an additional hundred K in MRR to your business. So, um, gonna it's a free course six day uh six day challenge so it will be dropping soon i've been saying that for like the past month and a half but i've been working a lot on it and been super busy like i said but uh go here accelerate your stride.com opt in for the wait list it's free so once it drops you'll get instant access and uh yeah other than that guys keep hustling keep grinding i'll see you in tomorrow's video guys and of course accelerate your stride take care guys